The rugby squad for the second round of the 2024 edition of the World Rugby Sevens Challenger Series to be played in Montevideo, Uruguay, was named this morning at Chadondo Rugby Club. It includes names like Pius Ongena, Desire Ayera, Isaac Musanganzira, Aaron Ofoyoroth, Adrian Casito, Phil Puorokorac, Nobat Okeni, and Ian Monyani, the captain who represented Uganda during the inaugural edition in 2020. The eight are joined by Alex Atulinda, Timothy Mugisha, Timothy Kisaga and Dennis Etau who will fill the vacant slots. There are a lot of lessons learned uh, in uh, Dubai. Uh, we've worked towards correcting those mistakes and uh, I guess uh, the team is ready and uh, we are ready to be better than we were in Dubai and are hoping for the best, yeah. Uh, until the finals, because that's where we want to finish. In, if, uh, if, uh, if you are to have any chance of uh, getting into the, the final playoff series. Uganda finished ninth in the opening round, played in Dubai in January this year. For Montedeval, Uganda is pitted in Group C with Germany, Papua New Guinea and host Uruguay. The team will depart for Uruguay on Saturday, March 2nd, 2024, for the tournament that will run from the 8th to the 10th of March, 2024. The Victoria Pals got a much-deserved win against Zimbabwe women in their third T20 trial game on their India training tour. The ladies were asked to bat first, setting a score of 145 runs for six wickets in 20 overs with Gloria Abukol and Esther Uruku contributing 50 and 37 runs respectively. In defending, Uganda was able to limit the Lady Chevrons to 139 runs for eight wickets in 20 overs with the skipper Konsi Aweko leading from the front with two wickets. In the end, Uganda secured a six runs victory. I was very happy about the, the score we set. Uh, my batters really applied themselves. The wicket was favorable for them and uh, they indeed used that to their advantage and set for us a very good score that we bowlers managed to defend uh, and uh, it managed to give us a victory, our first victory against Zimbabwe in a very long time. We are really happy about this victory and we believe we take the momentum. As we are going to play against them in Ghana, we shall still have the same momentum and we have a lot of lessons to learn. What was going in my mind at that time when, we, when I was batting, uh, we actually just had to maximize the power play and to put a reasonable score on board because we have actually come here to learn and to learn from our mistakes. So it was an advantage on my side because the weekend was favoring, it was flat and the bowlers did give me that a lot of challenge. The ladies continue their training tour until the 29th of February 2024 after which they will head to Ghana for their maiden appearance at the African Games. Grace Joyce Kemigisa, UBC News.